Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing this tutorial today and this is going to help people who want to create a sort of a death scene or when your character dies with a specific script, you want to do something when you die, so whether it's respawn or whether it's actually um, go to a different menu and say you know you have to press a button to restart. Now I've had a few questions like this, so I'm just going to cover it briefly, you know, to give people an idea of how, you know, you can actually do it. So... I'm going to show you two examples here, and one of them is going to be, I did a mine script in C Sharp, and this is going to actually let you respawn, so it's going to let you respawn at a certain position, if to say you know you were making a 2D game or something like that, and then I'm going to have another one that you walk into, and it's going to actually um, cause damage to your player, and then make it go to a different screen, so that screen then you know has a button which then you just restart your old scene. So I'll go through um, the one which goes to another scene first. Now my script is called um, Damage and all it is is like the script that I had for picking up food and water and things like that. So all it does is it references my script here, the GUI survival script. It doesn't have to reference this one. This is just so I can set the current health to zero when you have something doing. So when you enter the collider it destroys um, the object as it would and sets the health to minus 100. Now, health is normally 100, so if it sets it to minus 100 in the update function, I set something called if health is less than or equal to zero, then you actually run a function called character death. And character death is down here. And what we have here is it says application.load level. And then you write the um, actual level that you've got inside your quotes. So this one's called simple menu. So obviously, when the character's health is zero, um, it'll call this function and it'll load this level. Now, you need to make sure that your level is in file build settings and you drag it into there. Now, I'll show you what happens. See, so obviously, you can create a new scene by going file new scene and you just what I'm going to do is walk into this collider and you notice that health went to zero and this is my other scene you can see it here it's death scene and then I've got new game button so I've created a little you know really simple button and when I click it you know you spawn back into that old scene so it almost creates something you know very simple and all it requires you to do is set make a new scene and then a button within that scene to then respawn back um, into that, into this um, one you wanted. So I will actually open up the simple menu and just show you what's going on. And all it is, I've got um, just a GUI texture with a button and then a simple script, script which just says, you know, on mouse up, you load the other level again. You do exactly the same thing as you did before. So I'll show you the actual other way that you can. Um, you know respawn and do things like that so in my other script here GUI survival here I've got my, my mine um, script which is in C sharp but you know in theory it's all relatively the same you're gonna have two variables at the top even though these say public transform destination what you would have in JavaScript would be um, you know variable destination as type transform but you know it's all very you know similar so all I'm doing in this one is that when we enter the trigger just like we did before it calls a function called kill player and what kill player does it has something which respawns them in different positions so you just write player dot transform dot position equals destination position so all you're doing within your mine is you add in the destination which is an object that I created over here so this is where you're gonna respawn and you just add your player to that um, that inspector slot. So if I play it, you'll notice that when I walk into the collider, you know, I'll just spawn over there in, in here. You can make this invisible so you don't get stuck in it or anything like that. But it's just in a similar way that once you hit that and you would die, you would respawn in another place. So it's all really quite um, simple to do. It just, in one case, in... Um, you can load to a new scene when you hit zero or when you hit zero you actually respawn in the place and it just requires that little bit of script and I'll put the two scripts up for download and you know you can look through them and you know get an idea yourself but that was just going through the basics of when your character dies 
you can actually do something so thanks very much for watching and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers